I'm about to talk about Sam's Club and Walmart and two different friends of mine who shop at each place. But what I'm about to tell you, some of it's good, some of it's bad. Let's start with the good. Well, kind of. I got this friend, this friend Joe, loves going to Sam's Club, loves to go during the lunch hour, guys. He doesn't eat a regular lunch. He eats his lunch at Sam's Club, and you wonder why. He freaking goes there to get every single sample around the motherfucking store, okay? It's not enough that you go try the pasta or the macaroni, but he goes over there, he grabs the pasta, he gets a bite, okay? He steps away two minutes, he flips his hat backwards, okay, like that, and he goes back and he's like, um, excuse me, um, can I try the pasta? Thinking that the lady is not going to recognize him with a different look, okay? He goes around and gets everything for lunch. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Samples are okay, but when you overdo the samples and you do them like 80 times... Mm -mm. Nah, I don't think that's cool. All right, so that, that could be good and bad for Joe. Now let's talk about Ron. Ron loves Walmart. He goes like late at night after midnight. He goes there with his friends to hang out. It's a little scary when you go to Walmart to hang out. Like I thought the bowling alley was lame, but when you're like, hey, yo, Jim, yo, Yo, Mike, let's go to Walmart tonight and let's hang out there. There's a lot of cool things we can do, you know, like walk around the store and like, you know, yeah, no, 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 no. That's, that's kind of weird. But in small towns, people do that. Basically, basically, when he goes to Walmart, he basically goes around picking up the PA. He goes on the PA and says, hi, we need, um, we need a little assistance uh, in the pharmacy section. We need assistance in the pharmacy section, basically to, to have fun and prank. He'll go around, he'll you know, throw a basketball in, in like the backboard and the hoop. He'll get on the treadmill. Walmart doesn't have treadmills. He'll start running. But one of the things he's done is he's done cra he, he went to Walmart and put on roller skates, okay? This guy doesn't even know how to skate. And he ended up falling on his ass right in front of a customer service associate. Well, guess what happened, guys? Do you think she took the skates off? She stood him up and she wheeled him out of the store. Out of the store. She just wheeled him out. She's like, you need to go. And she threw him out because he skated out. Not on his own, though. Not on his own. But I think the one time, most importantly, is when someone goes to Walmart and they just go ahead and they're and they just you get goofy. They go in and they try on all sorts of messed up clothes like the people of Walmart.com, you know that website that kind of makes fun of Walmart people. And they just go with their friends and that's entertaining to them. It makes you wonder what real entertainment is like for people in towns where there is stuff to do. Um, yeah, well I think, you know what guys? There's like about eleven of you yeah, a lot of you know what it's like to go to Walmart. Um, so 